The year is 2171. The place, Novo Mundum, a town of 50,000 east of Reykjavik, Iceland. Novo Mundum, a city offering its diverse population an ecologically sound, innovative, and safe environment. It's the final round in the Future City competition. These Bexley, Ohio middle school students are among 38 teams whittled down from 1,100 nationwide who defend their concept before a panel of judges. Can you describe one new technology that will either provide a new source of renewable water supply, recycle water within the home, purify the water, or lower overall water usage? Uh, the microbial fuel cells that we use use charged uh, bacteria, which, when they consume waste, generate energy, which helps power the electrical systems, such as pumps, used in our water system. Another thing that the water provides is through the filtration system, soybeans are grown. Though they are unedible, they can be used as soybean biofuel to power different transportation units within our city. The theme of the competition this year is water. Valley Park Middle School students in New Jersey locate City of Hope on the banks of China's Yangtze River. The key to abundant, clean, and safe drinking water is an innovation students Jack McGuire and Bobby Matz call the Molecular Containment Disassembly, or MCD. And it uses nanobots to disassemble uh, physical and chemical contaminants as well as carbon nanotube filters. It lets us use water but not waste any. In their 22nd century design, City of Hope buildings would be coated with a solar polymer to collect the sun's energy. And people would travel and pressurize aquatic vehicles. Team member Run He Lee expects these concepts to become reality. We designed this city so that everything in our city would be able to happen in the future. And because we are in the year 2175, we believe everything will be able to happen by then. Young engineers from Al Hadi School of Accelerative Learning in Houston, Texas, won a special prize for their personal rapid transit system, which runs on renewable energy. These students would like to adapt their innovations to their hometown. Amir Puya Dardashti. Well, we all live in Houston, Texas, and the problem, the two problems in Texas is that it's very dirty and there's a lot of pollution and there's also a lot of traffic. Al-Hadi students Yasmin Sanai and Ali Ahmed say the process of designing and building their model city gave them a hands-on experience on what engineers actually do. What I learned about this project, and I'm sure my teammates did as well, that engineers are the leaders of the world and they put scientific knowledge into practice. I've changed my mind about what I wanted to be, and I've learned that you, like girls can be engineers as well. It only takes four years to be an engineer. You can have a good life and a good career. That's one of the reasons the National Engineering Week Foundation sponsors a competition, which fits within the organization's mission of developing young talent to design tomorrow's world. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.